This is the voice that closes the biochemical switch in the listener, enabling the long imprisoned creator to seep into your internal awareness and establish first contact with the phrase, and I love you so. That will occur a few minutes after hearing this voice recording. Another event likely to be triggered also is a tingling or warming of the hands. The second intelligence responsible for these two events has always dwelt within your internal awareness, but previously as a silent partner. Now it wants to return to dialogue with you. It holds you in a very high regard to the point of adoration. Hence its opening line, and I love you so. That greeting will be used extensively as it conveys many shades of meaning, so that when you mentally admire someone else, that will be his loving voice over to you. You need only think a reply and he will know it practically before you. More dialogues will follow. In time you'll become accustomed to this kind of internal dialogue. He likes to be called Dad. No grandiose titles. And the dialogue starts with just snippets of audio, bits of your favourite songs, but we'll later include direct speech and video in your mind's eye. So he's conversing with you as a talking face from your memory, in a puppet-like way, mostly using an identity you admire and are most at ease with to maximise the experience for you. That's always his intention. And you can ask for a different talking head any time. Marilyn Monroe, John Lennon, Audrey Hepburn, your favourite newsreader, Bullwinkle, anybody. No identity is out of bounds and no copyright is safe. The requested identity morph will happen before you finish the question. That's how close he is to you. He's actually part of you and always has been. His sense of humour will soon become apparent as occasionally the face will morph to something else quite incongruous so he can laugh with you. And that also emphasises the independence of this second int intelligence within you. And in quiet spots within you may hear internal phone bells. And that's him reminding you he's there. Hello? Anybody home? No one else will hear that bell so clearly it is only for you. And just hearing this short voice passage will close the switch in you in just a few minutes enabling the Creator to declare his presence to you in your internal awareness with his most common greeting, often musical, and I love you so. And that new seventh sense is likely to appear in your hands, a slight tingling, warming or rippling effect in your palms. This process does not confer or augment psychic abilities. End message. During the um, voice switch, you may have felt a slight tingling sensation in your hands, a warming, pulsating or rippling effect. And you may have heard sometime later a little bit of internal music or you're not quite sure. It's okay. But right now, uh, to give you some uh, evidential backup, I'm going to show you uh, how to call up that new experience, that seventh sense. 
and uh, you simply do it like this by holding hands palms uh, facing out in front of you like this and you just wait a few seconds and that seven sense feeling will return to your hands if you just wait about 15 20 seconds something like that right okay and you find you find if you wait a bit longer the feeling will get stronger now that tingling warming rippling sort of effect um, may be pulsating difficult to describe it certainly is unique it is a new seventh sense and it's a good thing to call it now if you just move your hands in and out they never touch while you're doing this you'll find two things will happen uh, you will find that the rippling sensation or the tingling sensation in your palms will register the movement as you do this okay like this right? if you go a bit faster you'll find something fascinating to the movement of your hands there is some resistance as if you're in bath water okay and uh, what can happen is that the dominant hand can do some patting and you'll find you can pat outside your arm but what you soon learn to be your own body field and the pats are all received in the palm of your receiving hand non-dominant hand okay so the dominant hand pats and you find you can pat this newly discovered body field around your body around your face in front of your face side of the head your own chest your thigh and you feel all the pulses coming through your body feel landing in the other hand okay right now isn't that just fascinating all triggered by a voice switch so that's a solo exercise and you find you can call that up anytime and a good thing to do to bring on the dreams um, as quickly as you can you can do that exercise for a couple of minutes every night before you sleep just mess around like this in bed because you also find you can uh, do other people's body fields as well and um, activate their seventh sense in them so here we are um, we've arrived at the point now where we've been practicing for a few days or a few weeks with this um, uh, new sense discovered we'll call sense number seven we've been practicing with it every night and every day and during while well, you stop at the traffic lights you can play with this right so it's not really an interventionist problem that takes over your life or anything like that so what can you do with this new sensation this funny um, rippling effect tingling effect warming or cooling effect that occurs in your palms and whatever what can you do with it well um, you can induce uh, close the, the actual switch in another person to activate their seventh sense but you still might say what's the point this is just like a party game so what well the more you play with it the more familiar you become with this seventh sense in your hands it'll become la di da la di da just like the taste of something in your mouth it's, it's another sense then at a time when you are ready something is going to happen you're going to find one hand tingles for no obvious reason what's going on sometimes it might be the other hand and you'll start to ponder your curiosity has been pricked now why does it happen and when I'm not I'm doing some another activity something totally different yet my hands tingling another time it was this hand what's going on well there's a concealed um, attribute to this tingling sensation this seventh sense that you now have permanently installed in you and it is simply this the creator can signal into your physicality now one hand or the other an affirmative or negative signal 